Welcome to the Race Crews Weekend Show. Thank you for popping in. You know these Mattel Fast and Furious cars? They were pretty cool. Well, apparently they had a Camouflage Series 2. These showed up at uh, Dollar Stores, uh, I think Dollar Tree. I picked up uh, Local Mortars, Rally Fighter. I also got this one right here, Custom Downhill Buggy. Maybe I could get a little bit closer, get you a little bit better details. Uh, you know what? I never seen these anywhere else. They just wound up right at the uh, dollar stores. Well, Dollar Tree, I think, is where I found them. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you found them anywhere else. Glad I found this one. 1970 Dodge Charger off road. That's my favorite Fast and Furious car because uh, I really like how they have those uh, spare tires in the back. Now, uh, there's um, five different cars. No, six, actually. It says six car series. Uh, I'm going to have to pick up a couple of the others that uh, I did not find. I definitely want the MXT and um, a green one. I think it's this one. 2011 Dodge Charger Challenge. Dodge Challenger SRT8. I definitely want that one. But uh, pretty cool. Glad to add them to the collection. Uh, some other things. Hey, look who's that. Yeah, I finally got a hold of the... Uh, Hot Wheels Shark Beach Battle. Uh, where you at? Well, you know what? I did my review, and it was not very good. So I'm going to shoot it again to see if I did something wrong. I'm not sure if it uh, was me or what the deal was, but uh, definitely issues. So I'm going to try it again. Oh, yeah, you see that thing right there? I had it there last week, and I forgot to turn it on. I don't know how much that little light helps. Well, a little bit. We'll go ahead and leave it on. Uh, these four cars here, these are from 2002, 2003. I'll talk about these later on. By the way, uh, I had mentioned that uh, I'm going to be getting rid of some of my extra stuff on eBay. These four cars are right now listed on eBay. I only listed those four just because uh, I got to get, uh, I got to figure out the system. It's been a long time, probably 15 years since I sold anything on eBay. So I'll start off with some. Uh, cheap stuff this way if something goes wrong i don't i don't take a big hit this convention stuff uh this i'm probably going to try to sell well i'll sell this stuff later on including that uh, gold batmobile but some of this uh, higher dollar stuff i'm just going to sell at the convention in person uh this way it's a done deal don't have to worry about stuff getting lost in the mail i have some other extra stuff too that is going to wind up on ebay you're just going to have to wait for that. Well, yeah, uh, these two models right here. Let's go ahead and talk about those. From Twitter, Aiden Walther at Race Crews. Ask Race Crews, do you have the Hot Wheels car Silver Bullet? Well, yes, I do. Did you know it was called Large Charge when it was first introduced? Here's a sample of an early release. I'm going to take a closer look at these samples. By the way, Large Charge wasn't the only name it had. Check it out. Aero Flash. Yeah, they called it Aero Flash as well. Even though it said Aero Flash on the card. And guess what it says on the base? Yeah, it, it said Silver Bullet. They didn't even change the name on the base. For Truck and Tuesday, I did an older Matchbox set. V8 said, hey Mark, I had an actual Land Rover Freelander just like that. It was the worst car I ever owned, lol. The toy model is way better than the real thing. Yeah, I hear you, V8. Uh, it's a cool model. I don't know if I'd like the truck. Speaking of Matchbox trucks, you know what? They did the Nissan Xterra years ago, and my brother-in-law, he had one, and he said it was terrible. Kept having problems. He finally just took it back and got something else. By the way, in my Truck and Tuesday video, Dylan Jackson noticed that there was a noise in the background. And I told him that, you know what, I forgot to turn on, I forgot to turn on my professional audio microphone. So I wound up having to use the microphone from the camera. Uh, you got a good ear. Sorry about that, but uh, I had to do what I had to do. Oh yeah, speaking of the Nissan Xterra, it used to have an opening rear hatch. Guess what? Matchbox is bringing back opening features. The uh, Nissan Xterra 2000 will be coming back to the stores, but it's not going to be in the dollar line. I believe they're going to charge about uh, two bucks, but it's way too early. We'll see what happens. By the way, last week I was in Nashville, Tennessee, 
Uh, you know, I've told you guys my wife has to go there every week back and forth. Well, hopefully pretty soon she won't have to do it every week. So before that uh, job ended, we went and we visited. We hung out with her, me and the kids. We went and uh, stayed in Asheville for a day or two. Then we went over to Dollywood. Uh, it, was, it was fantastic getting to go to Dollywood because when the kids were small, we went to Dollywood and... They had, just before we went to go on this big ride, thunderstorms, and they shut down the park because it was uh, unsafe for people to be uh, in the park with the potential of thunderstorms. So they shut down the park and kicked everybody out, I do believe. So I was I was definitely looking forward to getting to go again because I missed those rides. Not only that, they've added a whole bunch of other rides. Now, I, I'll have an Off the Pegs video. I might have something for race grooves uh, coming in this coming week. We'll see what happens. But... It was nice to be able to go and get to spend more time with my wife and the family, the four of us, especially with both my kids being over 21 years old now. It's kind of hard for all four of us to get together for a getaway. They go to school, you know, they work. It's My wife works. It's pretty hard to get together. By the way, you know that uh, I did the collab with Lily from Havesh 5. Well, I, I got my video uploaded, but I can't publish it yet. I have to wait for her to finish her side. She sent me a note. Uh, I sent her the video so she can check it out. She said, this came out great. Love the slow-mo replays and your announcing voice. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It was a blast having her here. And I hope to have more in the future. I got a couple more. Uh, I have plans. Some family, some YouTubers. We'll see what happens. The other thing is, I was going to call the segment uh, uh, Race Screws versus Hevesh 5, right? But see, if I'm going to call it a segment, it's the segment would be Race Cruise versus. It just doesn't roll off the tongue very well. To me, it just doesn't. I think I'm going to call the segment Verse Race Grooves. Verse Race Grooves. And that's the name of the segment. But uh, because Lily was the first one, I'm going to, in that video, it's going to say Race Grooves versus. Anyways, uh, we'll make, it'll make sense as we come along. By the way, uh, Biker Joe 18, he asked me, asked Grace Cruz, have you heard any updates about Mattel selling the brand to Hasbro? Hasbro? Haven't heard anything at all. But of course this week, or last week, big news, Mattel lays off like 2,200 people, non, not manufacturing jobs. So office people, man, managers, I don't know which people, they're just not manufacturing jobs, they say. And then of course uh, Fox News picks up on the story in the Fox Business Twitter account. They turn around and they use one of my track time videos as B-roll, you know, while they're doing a report. I filed uh, some uh, copyright complaints. Look, you got that's they should be licensing those clips from me. That's how I earn my living, right? Be, by creating video, right? Especially track time. And then they just take it and use it. Anyways, uh, I'll be taking care of that. Uh, if you've been following my social feeds, I, I posted it actually on my uh uh, community page on race crews as well here on YouTube. So you probably already knew that that happened. If not, well, now you know. Donald Trump wants to know why Hot Wheels don't place my name on them. Well, because they, I guess they don't want to pay you your licensing fees. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you, Donald. Maybe there's other reasons. I don't know. Tortoise Tom One talking about merchandising. He'd like to get a race crews t-shirt. And, you know, uh, I was planning on doing them here, and I've talked about this. But now YouTube's going to have this thing. It's a shelf under the video, and it shows uh, T-shirts and stuff. I'm just going to wait for that. That makes sure it's sense, right? You know, I, I like, look, uh, I have I have a, a YouTuber's T-shirt on right now. I think this is, uh, I get them confused. Game theory, uh, movie theory, I forget. Anyways, I watch them both. But, uh, yeah, I like to do them myself. Last week, you know, <laughs> I wore the shirt with the pug. I I love pugs, right? So I, I love watching t-shirts. Not only that, I don't know if you noticed in the background, you notice a white piece of paper sitting there on my convention cars. Yeah, I needed a cheat sheet because I was saying the names of the cars. I didn't want to make a mistake, so I made it off the camera. I made a little cheat sheet. The only problem, when I sat down here and started doing my video, I forgot to take the cheat sheet down. You know, that's the way it goes. Uh, speaking of which, I don't know if that light looks better or not. Let me turn it off, and then I'll, I'll be able to... I'll check the difference later on. I'm not sure. I can't see that far. Could I have on my computer glasses to read this far? I don't have my glasses to read that far, which is going that far. Anyways, Dale Bridwell, you like plugs? I love pugs too. The problem is, guess what? I love to have a pug, but we wound up taking care of. We, we've had some cats for over three years now. Family of 
cats. Mama had uh, kittens in the backyard. I mean, in my daughter's bedroom, right? So we've been taking care of the whole family of cats for three years now. I'd love to have a pug. I'm not so sure the cats are going to be happy to have a dog around. Nitrous dog out. Dog house. I was thinking about pugs. Dog house. Nitrous, I guess. I enjoy the weekend show. Saturday morning is a great time to release it. It reminds me of the old days when Saturday morning cartoons came out. Yeah, that was the day. A long time ago. 40 years ago since I watched Saturday morning cartoons. I don't even know if they still have them. I don't know. You guys let me know. Especially the youngsters. You guys watch that stuff. Saturday morning. Uh, well, now Saturdays. I'm at home because wife's usually home. I just want to relax with the family Saturdays. But I'm glad you like it. And I'm glad I'm publishing it Saturday morning because... Don't forget, the other side of the globe, they're already on Sunday. So when I was publishing a Sunday night, that's like Monday night, they'd watch it too. That's pretty late. But anyways, Saturday morning, I'm on a roll. Now, Super Treasure Hunt, Lamborghini homage is out. Jeremy Rich or G. Reyes asked Grace Cruz, I got confused about why collectors did overprice their cars and not the normal price. For example, the Super Treasure Hunt Aventador Mayora homage, the price is... 1,000 Philippines, I believe, PHB. Uh, I don't know the currency. Uh, hmm, that's kind of expensive. Well, you know, I was, I did a currency converter. $18, $19 is what the U.S. price is. That's all they were charging was 19. You know, it's, it's like double that price on eBay. That's what it's reselling for. Besides, once somebody owns a car, it's up to them to decide how much they want to charge. They own it. They can resell it for whatever they want. Now, most retailers, they don't sit there and go and pick a, which, because they don't know. They're just a mix of cars. So they just charge a basic price for all of them. And if you have to happen to find the Super, you get it at a, the regular price. They're mixed in the case with the regular car. So they just get charged. They have the same UPC, same barcode. So they get charged the same. But some shops, right, it's their store. They can, they can if they want to charge different prices for different cars, that's up to them. I hope I didn't cause the camera to go blurry because I was moving around like that. Well, we'll find out. You know what? Uh, Jeremy had another question. Ask Gray Screws. Every car has its own errors and design. How come the cars? How come the cars have errors and others do not have any? Well, you know, some cars, like if, if a car has like a window canopy or a driver's cockpit, right? Some cars, you know, it might be a common error for that cockpit to be missing, right? Or whatnot. Some, some cars are prone to have certain types of errors. It just happens. Some cars are not. Not only that, there's, they, I think they make a million cars every day, right? You don't see everything that happens. Every car, millions, all over, you don't know. So when you say others don't have any, you just haven't seen them. How can you see millions and millions of cars all over the globe? You, you haven't seen them. Matt Unbox Toys, if the card art on the car is messed up, is it still an error? Well, people call it a... Uh, 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 Packaging error. Some people call them errors. Generally, not that collectible. It depends. There are some very cool errors. Sometimes sometimes they put the uh, cardboard uh, upside down. They'll have the blister pack right here. Let me get a card right here. They'll have, they'll have, see how it has a Hot Wheels logo right there, right? And then the car's right here. Well, a really cool packaging error is when this is upside down, but the car is still right here. That's a fantastic error. I have uh, one or two of them. I'm not sure. One for sure. Absolutely. Oh, one for sure. I know I have one. And it's a VW bus, as a matter of fact. Um, other packaging errors. Sometimes the plastic bubble is kind of slid to the side a little bit. It's really it's really nothing, right? But, hey, if it's cool to you, if you enjoy having it, it's up to you. Sometimes, you know what's cool? <laughs> Sometimes... Uh, the car will be like this. Well, you know, they make all these cardboards, right? Sometimes you'll get another cardboard uh, uh, stuck to the back. And so it'll be like stuck. You have two cardboards and one blister. Those are kind of cool, right? Until you mess around with it too much and it pops off. And then, man, now you don't, now you don't have a packaging error. Anyways, it's up to you. Buy what you like. Buy what you can afford. Enjoy the hobby. Certain errors like packaging errors, I would not spend too much on them. Wayne Thacker wanted to know, ask Grace Cruz, do you think the cool combi is a good car to put up and show? Well, I have one right there because I, I got the basic treasure hunt. It's, it's definitely a cool model to show. It's good for display. It's okay for playing, for driving around. But for the track, track time, mm, not so good. Earn Earth, Earn, I don't know how to say that, sorry. EE, -E. did you think 
Do you think what type of wheel is the best one for downhill tracks? I'm not sure really which one's the best. Look, faster than ever wheels were fantastic because they actually had nickel plated axles. It wasn't the wheels that were cool. The axle was nickel plated. So you could spin the wheels and they would just roll and roll and roll. Uh, but I know certain wheels, I, I, I like five spoke wheels. I, to be honest, I have not tested and compared any wheels in the last five years. I just haven't had a downhill track set up uh, or we, when we go to the convention, you know, whatnot. Uh, one wheel for sure that um, skinny wheels, skinny wheels, you know, they tend to get bent. I don't know exactly, but skinny wheels don't do well after a while. And I, my, spec, my guess is because they get a little bent after racing them and then they hit the finish line or the catch box, whatever you got going on. Uh, generally, I don't like doing skinny wheels. Jark02, oh, maybe the collector looking for the 2014 Herbie VW should see if there's any diecast or Hot Wheels collectors in his area. This may help him find some of the other cars and he may get a price better than eBay or the collector stores. Yeah, you know what? It's good to form a community of collectors. Sometimes you find it, sometimes you, and then you share. Uh, it's definitely a good idea to try to ask around and see who's got the time and who's doing that. Now, if you're not helping at all and then you expect somebody to give you all the good stuff that's kind of lopsided isn't it did it um hot wheels case unboxing video austin sinclair i licked the hover and out can you do it i'm not gonna lick my cars <laughs> sorry oh pick can i pick hover and over i said can i pick hovering out well we'll see if i do hovering out i don't know i just want to poke fun at your typo it's just funny and Feroz Ahmad at 808, it says Riff Rod. Well, yeah, in that track time video, well, this guy, you know, his uh, phone auto spell checker, stock car, and I think Riff Rod. So he got a shout out for Riff Rod, which was actually, it wasn't Riff Rod. It was Rev Rod, I believe. Let me check. It was, in fact, Rev Rod. It's the car he meant, and he got a shout out for Rev Rod. Fernando Jimenez, Mark Great Bid. Oh, Vid. Sorry, I got into the Spanish thing. I tried looking for your items on eBay. Maybe not looking for the right seller name. Mr. Grooves, is this correct? Yeah, Mr. Dot Grooves. Thanks. Looking forward to purchase some of your cool items. It's going to be slow a little bit. I have those four right now. I, uh, now, some people are going to want, like, uh, maybe they want the Goodyear tires. So I might be putting up some of them in lots of like five of that one car because people might want to do customs and they want those wheels. But for right now, I just put one at a time. Um, now, other stuff, you know, I have extras of that matchbox. I have extras of that, extras of that. I'm not sure how much of that I want to keep. Uh, uh, might let that go. Definitely I got extra one of that. Nope, 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 nope. Anyways, different things. So... It'll be in the description of the weekend show, anything that I put up on eBay. And if something interests you, have at it. I'll be glad to get something from uh, my collection to yours as I, I kind of make some room in the warehouse. Especially these. I have a lot of those because, well, I shouldn't tell you, but I have a lot of those because, uh, you know what, I don't have to explain it again. I made a video. You can check out the video talking about that and the links in that video as well. If I, if I do a video on something that's going to be for sale on eBay, the link will be in the description. When I do my case unboxing videos, don't ask me, hey, am I going to sell that brand new car that just came out? Uh, that's not what I'm going to be doing, all right? Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and a great week afterwards. Bye-bye.